Okay, this calculation comes from activity 1.7 in our textbook. It is question 5. And in this question, we need to calculate the current flowing through the 11,2 ohm resistor using Norton's theorem. And we also need to calculate the voltage drop. Now, I won't go into the circuit diagram in detail just yet. Let's take a look at our first step. The first step is to calculate Norton's current. And when we calculate Norton's current, we short circuit the load resistor. So therefore, this current is known as the short circuit current, and that is used to calculate Norton's current. Now, what's important to note, if you have a look at this battery source, we have positive and negative. Conventional current flow from positive to negative. The current will split up at junction X, and it will pass through R1 and R2. Now, what's important to note is that when the current reaches this area, it will not pass through the 8 ohm resistor because the current will want to choose the path of least resistance. So essentially, when we short circuit the uh, load resistor, it means that the 8 ohm resistor becomes inoperative and we ignore it. So therefore, to calculate the short circuit current or Norton's current using the current divider rule, Okay, we're going to ignore the 8 ohm resistor. So therefore, it's going to be R1 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by I total. Okay, so we need to calculate I total. To calculate I total, it's going to be V total over R total. Okay, so obviously we need to calculate the resistance total. Now, because the 8 ohm resistor becomes inoperative, or we ignore it, because the current bypasses the 8 ohm resistor, this means that the resistance total will be the parallel branch of R2 multiplied by R1 over R2 plus R1. That's using the uh, product sum rule. So we have 20 times 12 over 20 plus 12. So therefore the resistance total will be 7,5 ohms. Okay, so now uh, to calculate the current V total over R total. So the total voltage is 20, the resistance total 7,5. So therefore the total current is going to be uh, 2,667 amps. Right. Now we can go ahead and substitute R1 is 20, R2 is 12, the total current 2,667, and that gives us a current of 1,66 or 7 amps around there. Okay, now the next step is to find uh, Norton's resistance, and in this step we always short circuit the battery. Now, very similar, when you short circuit the battery, the same thing is going to happen. To calculate uh, Norton's resistance, okay, the, we are now moving in the opposite direction. So what happens is the current will split up at this parallel branch. And when the current reaches here, it's going to bypass R1 because it will want to go through the path of uh, least resistance. So then R1 becomes inoperative. So therefore, to calculate Norton's resistance, very simple, it's going to be uh, R2 multiplied by R3 over R2 plus R3 using the product sum rule. So it's going to be 12 times 8 over 12 plus 8. So therefore, Norton's resistance is going to be 4,8 ohms. Right, now to calculate uh, the load current, we have the Norton's current and we have Norton's resistance. So now we can calculate I load and we can calculate the volt drop across this load. Okay, so to calculate IL, utilizing the current divider rule, it's going to be RN over RN plus RL times uh, Norton's current. So we substitute those values. Rn, 4,8 over 4,8 plus the load resistor of 11,2. And 
and Morton's current was 1,667. Okay, you can round off to three decimal places. So the loaded current over here is going to work out to 0 0,5 amps. Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys.